Oh, Lord, it does that every time. I don't get the feedback. Okay, well, hello everyone. So thank you for waiting for us. We are just a minute. I'm doing better. I'm doing so much better. Courage usually it takes me about five, ten, eight, twenty. <laughs> so many minutes to get in. Some days are better than others. But welcome, welcome, welcome to the LSMB network here of business owners. There's about eight hundred and fifty something. <laughs> people on this page that will get to see this live. In addition to that, there will be people on all my other platforms on LinkedIn, about 1,200 people, and then on Facebook, about 3,900, something like that. But anyway, wow. 8,000 people told we'll see this interview. Oh, wow. And that's not to make you panic. <laughs> yeah. Listen, thanks. That does not help my nerves at all. Thanks for that. <laughs> but, but, but let me know that I am sharing this with, with my community because uh, one of my followers, Kim, champion said oh i love her story <laughs> but she actually heard the podcast between patrice and you so at this time ladies and gentlemen i would like to introduce to you my p2p sister courage and so courage if you'll tell them who you are and what you do hello hey y'all i'm so excited to be here thank you so much for inviting me it truly is an honor um for me to be on your platform. I know your, your people are very important to you, so I don't take this lightly. Thank you. Who am I? Um, I am Courage Molina, and I like to say that I am the chief courage crusader because my assignment is to declare war on fear and doubt, this idea that I can or I'm not enough. I might help women to become bolder, more confident, and courageous enough to go after everything God said they could have. Amen. I do that um, through a number of ways. I wrote a book about it, a podcast, I have the Courage Circle, Courage Mastermind, and I speak whenever I have the opportunity to do so. Great, and so what? one, one question they're gonna ask you is, is Courage your real name? Yes. So tell um, them, I have, yeah, yeah, so so tell courage, them about that. Courage is my legal name. It is on my ID, it's on my passport, but my name at birth was Taquisha. And uh, when I was about six months old, my grandmother saw me in this, this picture. My mom stuffed me in this outfit I was too fat for. So I had like these scalloped edges and my little fat face was sticking out. And she said that I looked like the cowardly lion from the Wizard of Oz. And she, <laughs> yes. <laughs> That, this is true story, people, okay? She thought I looked like <laughs> the cowardly wife from the Wizard of Oz. And um, she she believes that names are important, though, you know? Absolutely. And so she didn't want me to be cowardly. She would say to me from six months old, what you got that others ain't got? And she taught me to say courage. And to this day, right now, okay, whenever this is going out there, when I call her, she says, hey, what you got that others ain't got? I'm like, courage. <laughs> Hey, grandma. So, yeah. um, and I recently felt led, I recently felt led maybe in the last uh, couple of years to change it legally. Um, I, I was resistant, actually. I was like, I don't, I'm not doing it. I felt the Lord telling me to, but I'm not as obedient as I would like. So I was like, I'm not, I'm not doing it. That sounds crazy. Um, <laughs> but you know how the Lord is. But it's so fitting though. <laughs> Because in the, in the short time, I mean, I learned, I met you earlier this year, and just in the short time that I've known you, it speaks volumes of who you are. Like you have, you will play the game, girl. You you go all in. I love that. I love that about you. I love that about you. So it's so fitting to who you are. So your grandmother saw it. Yes, and it was true throughout my life too. You know, there were lots of things that um, I had the courage to do, both mm -hmm. good and and bad. Good and all right, all mm -hmm. right. <laughs> well, that goes with it, you know, yeah. because we learn as we grow, right? Yes. yes. We, have, we all have a past. And thank Amen to that. <laughs> we all have a future. So, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So tell us about, so you you mentioned a, a plethora of platforms and things that you have going on. Tell us about what you do and, and how you do it. So we know that you inspire people to their greatness as given by God, but tell us about how you do that. 
Okay, so <clears throat> if we're talking, um, so when you when you talk about like what your one thing is, what is it you want to do, what you think you've been called to do, for me, it's to encourage women. And so then I have to say, well, like you said, how am I going to do that? One of the ways I do that is by sharing my story. So in my book, Power Principles, Courageous Living, I basically share the story of how bold faith in action impacted my life, how it saved me from depression, saved my marriage, changed my life, and ultimately put me on the course that I'm on now to be an entrepreneur and to think, start thinking about what my purpose was. Yeah. Um, but the day-to-day -day nitty gritty of it is really about expounding on the word of God in a way um, that people can see its practical applications. Because, you know, for me, it's nice. Like I love church. You know, I go to church on Sunday. Oh yeah. Well, I'm but, a church girl. Right. Too. Okay. Right. You right. So I, I love church. Right. <laughs> but this is the thing that happens. You know, we practice our religion. We go to church on Sunday. We go to Bible study on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. But the minute we are facing something in real life, that faith that we profess is nowhere to be found. We start to look to worldly wisdom, logic, uh, what is response? What's the responsible thing to do? Very rarely do we actually go to the word of God to say, okay, this is what I say. I believe how does this thing impact what I'm saying about my finances, my health, my marriage, my business, whatever. Um, and we have so much power. I think that's the thing that we missed out on. We have so much power mm -hmm. as people of God and so much faith. And we just, we honestly, so many of us wasted. Yeah, 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 yeah. Same, same people are. And so that's basically what I do. I take that word of God and I expound it and help people to apply it to their everyday life for women who want to intentionally grow their faith. Intentionally. Right? And intentionally. that's it. Intentionality is everything. It is more important to me now than it has ever been. Like I used to do things, but I just did them to have them done, you know? Mm -hmm. But when you when you're intentional, that is you you're going like you do you're going all in and you are present in that thing whatever it is you're Absolutely. present there you know mind body and soul so in your in, how long have you been doing this okay so i have been okay so that's kind of a tricky question so i've been doing it kind of fake right i've been faking it for probably a couple years right so okay. i said yes i'm like oh okay that's what i'm gonna do but i just I didn't really go all in. I still needed it to um, look like something I was comfortable with doing like, oh, okay, I'm gonna encourage women, but I really wanna focus on like entrepreneurship. I wanna encourage them and help them to create content and they'll know I'm a woman of faith. Anyone who spends any time with me knows that, but I didn't want to focus and like hone in on it. So how long have I had a real yes and been committed to my one thing? probably nine months and okay. i've been an entrepreneur for a couple of years now since 2016. okay okay so what was the pivotal moment um it stuff wasn't working like it, it, you get to a place let me just i'm being so honest you get to a place where especially so i quit my job i was a classroom teacher 11 years in the classroom and i felt led to step out on faith i'm gonna do this entrepreneurship thing and i had some contracts that that i was able to get right out of the gate and so it was great, but it wasn't working. It just mm. wasn't working. And it came to a point where either I was going to be all in and just give it all up, or I was going to go back to the classroom and I can't go back to the classroom. So <laughs> that was it. I was like, you, know, you can kind of fake it for a little bit and try and make things work. But it's like, if things don't change, you know, because you have finances and I have, you know, I have children, I have a husband and it's like, okay, we really think this is cute that you're doing this, but you're not really <laughs> like, like, you're not really contributing financially. So what are we doing? And I was yeah. like, well, if I have to go back to the classroom and I ain't going back, um, I'm going to have given it everything that I had. So yeah. just the crossroads, either we in or we out. And I was like, well, out is not really working. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I might as well jump on in, right? Oh, yeah. And I, you know, I think everybody goes through that. And so sometimes, and we have to be, be sure that we're not having that imposter syndrome, which is very different from, from uh, not being committed because sometimes, you know, even when you're in and you're doing it, you oh, feel yeah. like, okay, they're gonna find me out that I'm a fraud. You know, your mind plays these, these yeah. games. 
And we did that whole series. I mean, talked about that in our group. But but before you get committed, I think that happens not just to you. I think it happens to everybody where you'd be like, I'm kind of sort of doing it, kind of. Yeah, this is what I kind of sort of do. And you play with it, right? Yeah. And it can go on for years and for years. years. Yeah, yeah. Somebody, somebody's out there that's listening to us has been doing it for 10 years, five years, yeah. and they're not really a business. They're actually still playing with it. Yeah. And so we're here. I'm glad that you're here, and I'm glad that you talked about that. So they'll know that, okay, that gig is up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that gig is up, and it's time to get real. Right. And, 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 and so com- do a comparison of the two, the two cycles, like when you were just faking it and then now that you're all in. So talk about how they differ. Okay, so one of the things that you notice once you are in an alignment is that the things that you need to create, right? So we're just talking, we're talking business. We're not talking, um, this is what makes your heart warm. We're talking the nuts and bolts of business, right? Mm-hmm. You have to do marketing content, marketing, you have to create things. You have to promote yourself and put yourself out there. Those are things that you have to do regardless of whether or not you are in alignment with your purpose or not. Mm-hmm. It is the most difficult thing to come up with a warm way to nurture people towards your product or service when it is not truly authentic to you. Mm. Not that you are maliciously faking it, right? Because I had uh, had great intentions, right? My my goal was never to defraud somebody. It was always like, okay, I'm just comfortable saying I'm an entrepreneurial coach. I don't want to be in this faith-based world. I want to say I'm an entrepreneur with faith. I don't want my business to be fake. You know, I just didn't want that. But you have to create content and you have to be able to promote yourself. And I struggled so much to come up with content and to promote myself from that way. Um, Like there would be days and weeks that I went where it was like I was busy, but I didn't have any fruit to show for it. I wasn't Mm. productive. There was Mm. no real output. But now that I am in alignment, like I've been able to do just insane things. Like um, I have a 30 week email sequence. Who does that, right? <laughs> Who can even create that? If, if I need to redo something, if I launch something that doesn't work and I need to tweak it before, God help me, if I do it one time and if it don't work, I never want to do it again. <laughs> now it's like, okay, well, I didn't really get the output I wanted, but let me see how I can change and tweak it. It allows you to do the business of what you need to do um, without it taking up so much of your time and energy, without it being so miserable. I used to think that doing those business components was a difficult thing because it wasn't the creating, right? Mm. So I I used sometimes we lie to ourselves. I'm like, well, it's difficult for me to do this because I'm not really a sales person. It's Mm. hard for me to come up with sales copy because I'm, I just went in, like, that's just not, those are not facts, okay? (laughs) You are talking about sharing something you are truly passionate about. It's a product or service that's in alignment with your purpose that you believe in. That's why it's easy to write the sales copy because what you're saying is facts. You truly believe in what you are sharing with them. You see it as a solution, right? I'm not, I'm not promoting myself. So I don't care if people are tired of seeing my Facebook posts now because somebody out there needs to hear what I have. Absolutely. It wasn't about them. Right. 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 If if you're tired of seeing it, it's probably time for you to switch to find your people. (laughs) Right. Right. But before it's like, oh, you can easily talk yourself out of doing the things, Mm. the business, the unsexy back end part Mm. of business is almost impossible to do when you are not in alignment. It is Mm. almost impossible. Absolutely. And so now that you found your way, then you're reaching back. Yes. And you're helping others who are in those places, right? Yes. Find their way as well. So some of the successes, talk about some of the successes you've, you've seen without the names, but talk about some of the successes you've um, seen. I have been, so one of the greatest successes that I've had since I've said yes to this is I actually am one of those people now who receive emails and text messages and DMs from people, video messages where they're like, oh my gosh, I just love you. Um, I appreciate what you're doing, keep doing what you're doing from people who I didn't even think necessarily were watching or were sharing. Um, I have been able to collaborate with some, like, let me just tell you something. Some of the 
businesses and brands and people I've been able to collaborate with, I wouldn't want, I never would have set it as a goal, never. If it had been an application process where I needed to put in an application to see if I would get hired, I would have talked myself out of it because I would have thought, well, I am, don't have the success in this area <laughs> enough. So I wouldn't have even applied. And when I tell you that those brands and those people reached out to me because mm. of the content I was, and I used to hate hearing that. I'd be like, well, ain't nobody reaching out to me, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's not to say, it's definitely not to say that I don't have to pitch. I do have to pitch. But some of the ones um, that have just absolutely blown my mind have been ones that have reached out to me. Mm. Opportunities where I was like, what? You want me to what? We're doing what? Uh, Co-coaching, speaking, being the house speaker for an organization, an organization wanting to partner with me. And it's because my authenticity, run, like there's no stopping me. When you are in your genius, there's no stopping you. And so there's Absolutely. like, there's no stopping me in, in this, in this, in this arena. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and, and that has to feel good because it believes over. So you talked about it from, from the, um, wait, I'm the sorry, partnership, the collaboration. Thing. I'm sorry. Let me just cut you off real quick. I'm so sorry. I want to be clear here too. Right. I'm not just talking warm and fuzzy. It's cute to be in collaboration. Mm. I'm talking dollars and cents. Okay. Yeah. We're talking yeah. about getting the bag. That's everybody <laughs> want to say, get the bag, secure the bag, sis. We're talking about the income that I have earned since I have been in my purpose without question is more than when I was fighting and struggling to be in a space that I thought I was more comfortable with, but just wasn't the space for me to be in. So mm. let me be clear about that. These are not just collaborations for the sake of collaborations. They're not just people liking me and hitting me up in the DM. We talk in dollars. So being in alignment with my purpose has increased my revenue, period. So Absolutely. I just want to be clear. I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, no. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. Because what happens is a lot of times people want to do what feels good, you know, and you, you and I both know that the back office stuff it's not <laughs> hey, <babe. laughs> the back office stuff is not where the where the warm and sexy is. It's no, not. It's not. <laughs> it's, no, not. it's not. But it's also necessary. It's yeah. all necessary. And so by doing those things, that's how we that's how they find us. I hear all the time on my page different business owners saying, I'm moving in silence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hear that all the time. And I, and I laugh. Because every successful person I have ever met, and this goes back to 2014 when I met Steve Harvey and first met Patrice at, at, through Steve Harvey. So when, even back then, everybody that I know that I've been associated with since all that experience are noise makers. Yes. <laughs> are noise no. makers. Yes. And people find them because I always hear when, when people... Um, knew that I was in Steve Harvey's thing. They would say, well, can you give him this? Can you show him this? And the truth of the matter, him, Oprah, Paul, all the people who I know, Lisa, all the people who I know are doing their genius, find people. The people don't find them yeah. and they find it by the noise you make. Baby, you just the people that, people. yeah, the people who found you, found you because you were in your genius and you were making noise on your platform yes. like they saw you do something yep. and so that's why they were pulled to you but if you have been moving in silence then you just still been moving <laughs> still been moving if i can't find you i don't believe you and that's just you you can feel about it however you want if people cannot find you because you've been moving so silently right like yeah. a real g in lasagna you have been moving so silently. I can't find you on social media. I can't find you um, through other avenues. Like you don't have a web, just that type of stuff. Even with the website, it's like, okay, your website could have been created whenever, but what exactly are you doing? We have Absolutely. to some proof. It's 2019. And I get that so many people don't want to be involved in social media. But let me tell you this. Oprah has social media and you think you don't need social media. Walmart has an Instagram and a Facebook page, and you think your business, your product, your service is just so dynamic, it doesn't need it. Billion dollar companies have social media. Why? Because they realize that it increases their 
reach and their visibility and ultimately their bottom line. They're not just trying to be popular. They are trying to be profitable. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. So now, now that there right there, now that right there will preach and it will preach loud and hard. <laughs> <laughs> it will preach loud and hard because you know, I like I said, on my Facebook page, I see, you know, new business owners, bless their heart, because they're so gullible and they go to their friends who are in business. They, if I was you, I wouldn't put that. I had a business owner to tell me just last week that somebody she thought was a friend jumped on and said, hey, I don't know why you're doing that. You need to decide who you're going to be in the world. You know, and, and just all kind of naysaying and stuff yeah. and them being new, sometimes they feed into it. Praise God. She's been there. She's like, you know what? Go ahead. Say what you got to yeah. say. But uh, that's a check mark. She said, I prayed to ask God to reveal to me the people I need to remove. <laughs> that's such a huge thing, though. That's one of the things that I teach, right? So it's it's I feel like sometimes it's difficult to get people to understand why this faith component and so important, but this is the thing I have, and I'm going to be so quick. I got five little principles, power of identity, faith, forgiveness, relationships, and growth. And one of those, which is what you mentioned, relationships. I have to build a relationship when we're talking about business and all of that, you have to build relationships with people you can build with. Mm -hmm. so, hey, you hang out. Listen, I love a hangout, friend. I love a good hangout, barbecue, chilling, but I don't like right now I'm in a building season. So I'm looking for friends and squads I can build with, not just people I can hang out with and chill with. And Absolutely. so that is so important because of those things, because when I ask for advice, because when I say, okay, girl, I think I'm going to do this. If they're not connected, one, if they're not connected to faith, they're probably not even really sure if you can do what you say you're going to do. Absolutely. So if they're not out in these streets, actually talking and connected to other amazing people who are also entrepreneurs, people think they know how something works until they get in it and they see, oh, it actually doesn't work like that. Well, I thought it would have worked this way. Well, you thought that, but that's actually not how it works. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. And that's around. a word for the people that follow you and try to mimic what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Like they see the results. Yes. And they're doing the DIY. <laughs> instead, of, instead of paying you to learn about it, right. they just watch you look, look, what's she doing today? Oh, yeah. I got to go do me some of those. You know, yes. what they don't see is the background because you're paying for yours. I mean, you invest in yourself. And when you invest in yourself, you get the shortcuts. Right. Right. And, and that's why you can't pick my brain. Yeah. Pick my, oh, I for this brain. Ooh, Gwendolyn, right uh, I love Gwendolyn Young, uh, my admin expert. That's her favorite thing. She's like, no, you cannot pick my brain. No, I cannot help you brainstorm because I paid for this brain. Yeah. yeah. Experiences in conference and workshops and reading books that you don't want to read. Absolutely. That's why you want to pick my brain. She's like, I can send you an invoice. I'm like that part. That part right there. Gwendolyn, Gwendolyn has helped me too. Yeah, she's amazing. She's an admin bum, isn't she? <laughs> yeah, Gwendolyn she really is. is. Yes, she is. Yeah, so so and that's the thing is like you get invited. I'm sure you get the invitations to lunch, to a coffee, and to I don't go. Just so y'all know, so don't even don't <laughs> save your little inbox because your girl ain't going. <laughs> it's just and that's just I'm not. I listen, listen. This is my rule of thumb. I am not meeting anyone who I don't have a relationship with already. So we already have a relationship. I'm not meeting you for any reason um, unless you've requested a meeting with me. And there is something that I need to get from it, right? Like I, you requested a meeting for me and you are looking for a speaker. Yes, where can, what time would you like for me? To, I can show up, I can be there early. Do you need me to do muffins, right? I can be there. But if you just need to have a conversation with me, you want to pick my brain, send me an email and I'll see what I can do. Uh, we can get on a call like this, maybe, but that, and I used to do that all the time. That's another I know, thing I used to do. I'm, I, you know how, I how much time? To I used to drive yes. all over town. How much money are you spending gas and coffee? Yes. Every time I meet somebody for coffee, I have to eat at the place or pay. I like to eat. So I'm not really just going to a place, getting no coffee. So every meeting is costing me $15 because I'm bougie too. So <laughs> my little snack is $13. You know, I just, no, for I can I'm like, look, look how much money I saved right there. If I'm not meeting you. We can have a virtual cup of coffee if I really feel led to meet with somebody. But yeah, no, man, I'm with you. Yeah, yeah, because there's a process. And, and, and I was listening to, um, I was listening to Lamar. So Lamar, Ty Lamar Tyler is one of my coaches right now too. 
along with the Patrice who you and I share. Yeah. And Lamar was saying that people try to come through him through inbox in different ways. And hey, how can I get in that mastermind? Hey, can how can I do this and how can that? They want the shortcut. Yeah. And he said, you know what? We have set up a process. And if you want to get to me, you have to go through the process. Yep. And so, you know, I, I get it. I get That's it because beautiful. you get all these onesies and they distract you right. from what your real output need to be. And truth be and told, told, truth be told, whatever it is you're asking me for, either it's my area of expertise, right? Which, which is like building faith and that thing. Or it's something that I have learned that's not my area of expertise, but I took the course, I watched the live or whatever, I bought the book, went to the workshop. And so you can do the same thing because I'm not an expert in those areas, even though I have some experience. And if you want to work with me in the area in which I work, there are three ways for, I'll give you four ways, right? You can buy the book. The book is only $25. Yeah. Yeah. I outline all five power principles and how they changed my life. I don't hold anything back. $25. You can get that anytime, Amazon or the website, right? Two, you can join the current circle. I am pouring into that group on a regular basis. You want to go deeper? Courage Mastermind. Boom. And then I have another collaboration. Um, you can go through that way. Now, as they as you go through, it gets a little bit more the investment. It's higher, a little bit higher. more prominent, absolutely, because you're getting more yeah. data, you're getting That's more, right. you get more information, and yeah. you're at a, you are at a higher level to deal with yes. the person. Who, so you can who, pick that. It ain't gonna be through coffee though. You're not gonna get a workout like, oh, I want to work with. You. Here's how you can work with me. Pick any of those ways, and I'm gonna give you everything I got. Mm -hmm. Outside of that, I'm good, friend. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Absolutely, and see, I've been doing, I've been guilty of that too. I've been guilty of having the soft heart and saying, yeah, so, um, you know, pick my brain. I, I, I've been the cutoff to pick my brain, people. But, <laughs> but I do a 15-minute discovery call, right? And I'm getting ready to shut that down. But I do a 15-minute <laughs> discovery call just to see if I can help you so I can direct you. But I'm almost at year seven. Year seven is completion. So all the freeze will be completed <laughs> by the time I get... <laughs> By the time I get to year seven, <laughs> because I'll be done. I would have I would have done my entire seven years of giving, of 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 making certain that every person that contacted me got what they needed. And listen, by this time, by year seven, mm -hmm. you should be able to jump on one of these trains and get, something. and get what you need. And so that's where I'm gonna be. You know, so so my window is it, it's closing. It's, it's closing. Friends, it's, it's closing time. Please bring all of your items to the front. So check out. Get your questions to the front okay. so you can right. check out. Absolutely. What's funny is that um, we do have such a heart to give, and so I do struggle with that. Like it breaks my heart if I get on a sales call. The Courage Mastermind is more of a premium program, so if I get on a call and they think they want to get in, and I can hear that they need it, and then they can't get in I'm like okay maybe I'm just gonna let them get in for free because they need it and I you know I don't want them to not have it and this is like so important and all of that it does get really difficult but I can say this especially to anyone who is in that situation is it is what has sparked open some of these other things that I now provide right so you know the courage mastermind is at a premium the courage circle is $59 a month we're talking less than two dollars a day you feel mm -hmm. me so yeah, yeah. I can afford that, but now because I didn't have that before, it was like either you got this program or you just—I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I couldn't help you at all, right? So I felt so I felt like, oh my gosh, I want to give them something, but I kind of created this thing. But I also we also need for them to meet us, right? Like, yeah, meet me halfway. Yeah, halfway. Maybe this is the best program for you, but if for whatever reason it doesn't work, let's meet in the middle. No, instead, you want me to come all the way to your house and bring the groceries and cook the food and serve it at your house because you need it. Now I'm hungry. Now I'm going home. And we ain't got nothing to eat at my house. And right? the last time I checked here, we have the electric power board. Come on. They will not take my generosity as no. payment for my light bill. And they won't what? take my good looks. I tried to use that at Publix the other day. I couldn't find my true facts. facts. I tried it. Okay. <laughs> I could not find my ATM card. I was like, I don't know where my card is, ma'am. I was like, but I'm looking awfully cute today. Can I pay with my good looks? 
<laughs> and she was like, ma'am, I would love to help you out, but I have no way to put that into the register. So I'm like, <laughs> I was like, oh, all right then. I'd use my credit card, but they're not using my good books, um, <laughs> hugs and appreciation and cards. My bills and my car won't go on that either. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And so, and so what I've, what I've tried to do as an alternative is I refer the business people to the small business administration because every every major city has one. And so that's where the free stuff is. Yes. I had to stop doing the free stuff and just and, and now I even have a checklist. They can go on mustplugin.com and get the checklist. I just divert them to there because that's where the free stuff is. But to work with me, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a pretty penny. I mean you're gonna have to pay. You I mean, have to yeah, you can watch this live. Absolutely, they get this. They get this every Sunday at seven, right. and so and they get the replays. And, and and if they need it, want to go back to it. I do things like this, but I do that to introduce them to different mindset. I love that I I know I'm in the right company when I have mindsets like mine, right? And I know in Chattanooga we're just we're, they're not just all here. I love that internationally people think on a level like I think about the way you do business. I, right. I love that. And it's not about, it's not all about the money. It's about the outcome about um, changing people's lives. Absolutely. But at the, how committed are you? Because even, even statistics show that people who don't invest in what they're learning, they don't use it. They're not committed to it. I know. Cause I have given stuff away. I've had people ask me um, in the, in the beginning, before I got into the beautiful P2P, this P2P community, they're Ooh. not letting you do it. They're like, man, you better stop giving stuff away for free. Yeah. yeah. Uh -oh. um, I would, what I was it? A hundred dollars. hundred dollars. My first program was a hundred dollars for the year. Y'all blame them for the high prices y'all. <laughs> That was the funniest thing. That was the, the whole truck. Everybody yeah. went silent. Everybody and, and Patricia just didn't say nothing. No, she didn't say anything. That's, that's and everybody else was like, "Ma'am, <laughs> <laughs> that's my constant battle." But it's like you know, I've allowed people to come in on scholarship and things like that, and I would say the vast majority of them are not engaged. Which, by the way, ruins my and you know my energy and what I do. Right. The Let me tell you what I ain't got time else. for. I ain't got time to be begging you to show up to a thing I'm doing when I let you come into this group for free. So you know what? I'm gonna let people who can get in, get in. And when they pay, they like, okay, what's she about to say? They text <laughs> me, hey, we're on. I'm like, yes, but it is also 6.57. I will be on at seven o'clock. I'm sure y'all in the way to I love it. I love right? it. I, but love, I love it. that. You know, you yeah, are energized yeah. and people are engaged. I'm pouring out all this liquid gold and there's no response. I'm, I'm not that. I, I don't I, exactly. I'm over there. I'm there with you. We are clapping okay. hands on that one. High five, baby. Knuckle bump and fist bump and all that. Because the same thing. The same, exactly the same. You know you're giving them gems. You know you're giving them tar, you know, uh, uh, gems and targets to me. And they're coming back nothing. But then I have these people all this weekend, I think since like Wednesday, I've been having these people who have been using what I've given them. And they're showing results and they're coming back and saying, Hey, Linda, this is where I'm at. This is what I've been working on. And they have proof yeah. of what they're doing. This is, I've been posting them on it, putting them out in the world because I want them to, I want them to fly, you know? So I've had like seven people in the last few days to, to show me what they've been doing, working on that I've given them to do. And, and they're flying. I love it. Yeah, exactly. That's my high. That's the light bulb that's on my, my uh, business plug. Yeah, it's, I am addicted to that right there. That's what I dream about. That's what I want to do in my life. I want people who can show the light bulb, who gets the idea. Duh, yeah. that's I got it and run with it and run with it. Run with it. Yeah, that's the thing. I love it. Absolutely. I love it. Absolutely. That's that's as a coach, you already know that's Listen. the best evidence. Because it's not just about you showing up, right? I appreciate your money and I appreciate you showing up. But if you don't do anything with this work, then I don't feel like I've done my good work, right? So I need you to follow through and do the good work. I love hearing people. In the beginning, it made me nervous um, when people would quit their jobs. I would be like, I have not told anybody. I used to host a Bible study here at the house. And I had a lot of teachers because I was a teacher. So there were a lot of teachers that would come. And then I quit my job 
but I still had Bible study. People would come and I had a girl come and she actually accused me. It wasn't a compliment at the time, but it's how I got the name Chief Courage Crusader. She was like, y'all better stop coming to this Bible study because Courage gonna have y'all quitting y'all jobs. She has a crusade for everybody to quit their job. And people are looking, she's been with me for years. People are looking like, I'm like, she's crazy. Do not listen to her. But I started to think about it. And you know why people are quitting their jobs? I am not, listen. I'm not telling people to quit their job because y'all can't stay here. But what <laughs> happens, y'all can't stay, so I'm not telling you that. But what happens is, and it's so sad, so many people are in jobs and at work that they are not happy with. They know that they've settled. They know that God has called them to do something else. They know that it is time for them to do other things and they just don't sit on it. But it is impossible for you to participate in the courage circle and the things that I put out and for you to say like, oh, I'm going to continue to be less than every single thing like it's just impossible you can't take it you're like i oh, just forget it i'm gonna quit i'm gonna do it you know even if it takes them some time to quit yeah um, and, and I, I think it, i, I think love hearing i think the thing is and 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 like you i tell no one to quit their job and no, i tell fact, you to quit i recommend that they stay because <laughs> it ain't but, easy I but because <laughs> that's their first investor right the biggest yeah. investor but what i tell them is start creating the balance right where you're doing what God called you until you can walk away. Right. Because it's a build, right? We both know we didn't get to this popularity, this level of popularity the first day. No. Like we've been working. You said two years. You've been at this thing. Listen, and I say two years I've been at this thing. I have been dibbling and dabbling for years, since 08. Yeah. So See, I yeah. started my first blog back in 2013. Yeah, so, yeah. exactly. Exactly. That's when I started my business. But I've been doing what I do for my business for over 30 years. Yeah. Because I wrote resumes and business plans when I was working for that gravy company back there. <laughs> but, <laughs> but my life changed, right? And right. so I had to recreate myself. And in recreating myself, I came up with LSMB. So I don't tell them to quit their job because that's not practical. Right. But create plans, start planning. How can you do get yourself to a replacement income? Right. And so, sometimes it means that you have to transition, right? Like when you thought that you were going to stay in education, you were going to college to get your master's degree in education because you wanted to be a principal. Well, now you know you don't want to be a principal. So can we go ahead and stop those classes, right? So absolutely. now you freed up some time or maybe you were a principal, but you realize you can make it work financially just by going into the classroom and that's less responsibility for you and you have more space. So sometimes it means we have to shift Absolutely. So make space for this thing that I'm trying to build. So Michelle yeah. Obama talked about that in, in Becoming, how she was groomed to be one way. And then she decided, that's not filling my soul. That's not where I think my, my way is. I need to find my way. And so she did some, she did a shift. You know, she talked about her pivotal moment. I think we all have that. I think it takes courage. Yes. <laughs> I think it takes courage to make the shift. And, and to do something different that's within your wheelhouse, that's within right. your scope, that's within your purpose. It absolutely, I mean, it is a cute pun, but it is absolutely factual. When I talk to people and they're not happy with their lives, they're not happy with their job, or they're just not saying they are unhappy, but they are not joyous about what, they are dreading Monday, they're counting down to the weekend. And I'm like, well, if you know that you've been called for something else, what keeps you from, just taking one step. What keeps you from even the Google on how to write a book? And every time I hear what? Fear and doubt, mm -hmm. every single time. Mm -hmm. So it's like, okay, even if you have the skills and the knowledge and the opportunities to build a great business or to do whatever it is you wanna do, if you do not have the courage to show up and dominate every single day, every time, even when the imposter syndrome comes up, even when things are working out, then guess what? The minute something comes up, you're running back to the job. Absolutely. Or the minute something comes up, you are quitting. And Absolutely. something always coming up, especially in the beginning. Absolutely. Like, why, why did I say yes to uh, uh, It's like the Israelites. Uh, the, today, my pastor was talking about the Israelites. He said, you know, that God took them the long way because they could have went the short way. Yeah. Was, no, they could have went another, through another city to get to the promised land. But he took them through the water, the Red yeah. Sea. And they were like, okay, we got the white Red Sea in front of us and we got Pharaoh behind us. Mm -hmm. We would have been better off back with Pharaoh, right? Exactly. But, but the thing about it is he makes a way. He opened the sea. And just like that, he opens the sea in your life. 
Amen like, to that. You don't know these people that you know today. You didn't know them five years ago. No. You didn't know them a year ago. But today, mm-hmm. because you're working in your purpose, you're doing magnificent yes. things. And, and, and we're seeing it. We're, we're clapping you up. <laughs> <laughs> we're out here clapping you up. And you're just doing amazing things that you probably have never even dreamed of doing. No, this, it's insane. On this level. It's, it is like on my good days, because there are days where I'm like, okay, what exactly am I doing? <laughs> like, what, how did I get here? Let me ask myself how I got here. There are days that are like that. But most days, 90% of the time, I am overwhelmed um, with this sense of gratefulness that I get to do this. This is my actual life. Like, when I wake up in the morning, what do you do? Like, this is actually what I do. It's not just, oh, I'd love to do this thing one day. I'm leaving for Paris a week from Monday, right? <laughs> praise God, praise God, praise God. Amen. Um, and I say that to say that that is something that I'm able to do because of the life that I get to live. That I can live. I can go there for nine days and it's fine. And I may do a little work. The girls are like, I better not, but I could do a little work while I'm over there. Um, but I wouldn't have had that freedom. I remember putting in for time off at my job and they were like, no. I'm like, what do you mean? No, I'm not coming. What are you talking about? I got a trip to go on. Like, I just remember <laughs> feeling like that. I was like, this life for me, this, this time. Like, it's been time. But that shutdown, like, they, I, I could, when I tell you I couldn't believe it, Linda, he actually handed my paper back and said, he was like, no. That was my last year, too, teaching. He was like, no, your time is not approved. I'm like, I've already bought a plane ticket. Like, I'm not coming, dude. I don't know what you're talking about. He was like, you need to figure it out. I was like, man. I had to quit. Like this, is, this ain't gonna work, right? So yeah. <laughs> so I'm. I can't believe that I live this life. I can't. I just. It's insane. It's insane that I. Get oh to wow. Do this. That that is wonderful. And you said when are you in Paris? Uh, from the 9th through the 18th. Oh, that is wonderful. That I'm is so wonderful. I've never been honey. anywhere, and I've I have I just got my passport this year. It's so nice and shiny. I plan on getting a ton of stamps though. So. <laughs> And see, that's what I did. So I got mine 10 years ago and I only started using it like in the last three years. See? And now it's time to renew. But now since they have to have that new stamp on it anyway, yeah. I have to hurry up and get it approved. So I, I'm going to Africa in oh, October. Yes. I'm going to Cameroon to do a uh, Douala. Yes. So yeah, yeah, the end of October. So I'm stopping by though. I'm hoping we get a flight that has a layover in Paris. Cause I want to go gay Paris too. That's one of my, okay. that's one of my places too. So yeah. So I love that you're going there. I mean, is that a, so when you, th- when you start thinking about your business and you start thinking about your heart's desires, right? Cause the Bible says we have not, cause we ask not okay. was, get, was Paris on the list? No freedom was on the list. Mm, wow. Freedom. wow um, that's what... The freedom to choose to have options. So it's one thing to not travel, right? Because you'll hear people say, I don't want to travel. Okay, yeah. don't travel. It's one thing to not do it. It's a different thing for your heart to de- desire something that your lifestyle can't or won't support. And so yeah. when I thought about my heart's desire, I thought about being wealthy, having million dollar businesses, but it was so that I could have the freedom to choose how I spent my mm-hmm. time, where I spent my time. And so now that I've been doing it, my mind is completely different from even where I started. My <laughs> baby girl is going to graduate uh, this year. This is her last year of school. And everyone keeps asking us, like, what are we going to do? My husband and I, I'm like, we could legit live anywhere in the world, friends. Like, we could legit just be like, hey, we're going to go live in Paris for three months. Or we're going to. And I'm not be expats. Listen, Y'all going to be all listen, over the place. <laughs> or we, listen, or we might be right here in Charlotte, North Carolina. But yeah. the option is like the freedom to choose. That's, I mean, that was so big for me. I grew up, um, you know, in government housing. I grew up, I was raised by women who didn't have choices. This is what you're doing because you have to do this. And I just, um, I knew I, I didn't want that. And they didn't want it for me either. But I knew that I didn't want that. I just wanted to have this freedom. And so I, I thank God that I, you know, I'm able to do it. Yeah. Um, I know for a fact that what has brought me here has been my bold faith in action, not yeah. just like, oh, well, I believe, no, like actually putting <laughs> one step in front of the other, even though I was scared, even on the days that I cried. And so I'm so grateful for this life, man. 
Exactly. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I thank you. I've taken you a whole 45 minutes. I thank you for <laughs> I thank you for allowing me to interrupt your holiday weekend. And I thank you for coming on and having a conversation. Let me check because I want to make certain that I don't have questions okay. that I haven't seen. I did, I had my Facebook open a minute ago and I didn't see any questions. So do you all, if you have any questions, then please put them up. I don't see any. Oh, honey, that's 15 comments out there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Uchi, <laughs> let me get where I can see you. <laughs> y'all are talkative today honey hey, hey beautiful uh uh so Brittany, our girl Brittany is here her dean is here hi her dean those are our sisters yeah they're here <laughs> uh thanks louise louise is there hey nay her dean laughing at you yes <laughs> ma'am uh lakeisha thank you thank you thank you thank you all for the hey sonya the yes, hey, hey, y'all. Y'all. They said yes Brittany, if I feel that, because even a virtual cup of coffee takes time from my day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, so <laughs> so I was looking because y'all just commenting away, and, and the way this is this is supposed to be helping me, it's not doing the job. <laughs> <laughs> it's not doing the job at all. It was on the wrong screen, <laughs> the wrong screen. But yeah, so if you all have any questions for my girl. Oh, well, thank you. They said great topic. Thank Sonia you. Sonia Massey, Sonia Massey her, her husband. So they created the restroom kit. And it okay. is a contact. So when you're traveling, yes. uh, you can go to the rest, restroomkit.com and it's actually everything you need when you go to the ladies room. It's got everything in it. Oh, yeah, listen. And when you're traveling, so I've already so since I'm yeah, because I'm real bougie, even I've though I don't go nowhere. I've already ordered a uh, a twelve <laughs> to, to last me through the trip since I'm going to be 24 hours in in odd places. But it has the seat cover and tissue and wipes and all kind of things. So yeah, so so you may want to think about that. Um, I'm thinking I'm writing it down right now. <laughs> Restroom kit. I'm so bougie, man. <laughs> But That's yeah, why I'm going so, nowhere. Those, absolutely, but those are those are going with me. They will travel with me to Africa. They, they're going. I believe that. Come on, now. The trip. Yes, ma'am. They are. <laughs> but yeah, but but I thank you again. I could not repay you for your kindness in coming on. I do this every Sunday at seven, and I invite people all over the world to come and have conversations with me about what they do and how they do it. Right, and yeah. it's just to let other people know that it's possible and that there are people in the world who can do exactly what we're doing. Hey, Trina, Trina just joined us, but um, it's to let you, let you know that there are people out here all over the world doing marvelous things Amen to that. and you can do the same thing. That's what this, that's what the mixer is about. The mixer is about a mixer of all the different jobs, people, places, and things. So that we can empower and encourage each you other. And so it's because, thank you so much for having me. Um, I know that we seem so special and it's because we are. We are special. That's what we get to do this. But you are special too, right? It's about tapping into that, to the absolutely. thing that makes you special and doing it. So I, I absolutely love this platform. I love that you do this. And I was so like excited. I was like, what? She gonna let me be on? <laughs> 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 I told him I said the P2P women are coming. Huh? They, yes, these you, ladies are coming for it. They're coming for it and they're bringing their geniuses with them. And I love that. I love that you, we, the, the group that we're in is purpose to platform is, is Patrice uh, Cunningham Washington's group. So you can go to PCW.com to learn more about that whole the, the platform and redefining wealth where we met yes. uh, on that platform. But you can go to there to learn about how to seek your purpose instead of money. That's why you hear us talk about purpose and you hear us talk about changing people's lives is because we are we we have been trained to, to understand that money is is not the, the currency. Yes, the currency it really is it's not the currency. It's network, it's access, is people. Yeah, <laughs> people. It's definitely people. Yeah, yeah, helping people with their purpose. That's that's the access, that's the new currency. And so we met in that group a few months ago and we're all going strong. You'll get to meet some more of my sisters from P2P 
uh, we had Car uh, Carla was on a couple of weeks ago. Yes, Carla's amazing. Yes, she was. Yes, she was. Yes, she was. But Carla came on and she was talking about the e the, uh, the ESPN job she used to have, girl. Yeah. Hey, go ahead. I said, I got some basketball sports yeah. fans on here. But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I got a little bit of everybody, a little men, a little women, a little mix of everybody. But yeah, <laughs> but I just thank you, thank you, thank you. I am so, so grateful that thank you me. took out of your weekend, uh, holiday weekend to come and talk to us for a few minutes and enlighten us on everything that's courage. And again, if you'll tell them how they can get in touch with you. Yes, you can get in touch with me um, on Facebook, Courage Molina, Instagram, Courage Molina, and my website is what? You guessed it, couragemolina.org. <laughs> Absolutely. Get those places, all the things are there. All the things are there. So you're welcome to, to follow, start following her. Uh, yes. She's on all the major social media. She is will respond back. Yes, I will. If you have a question or comment that you did not put here that you think about later, then yes, by all means, reach out yes. to her. Uh, you can also reach out to Carla Williams. You can reach out to any of the ladies that you see here. Um, my Sonya, uh, if you're an inventor, please reach out to Sonya so she can help you get that to the market. So, and I, want, I, I would be remiss if I didn't tell you about my book. So this Saturday, from 10 to 4, I am going to have both my books at the public library. I'm doing that uh, as a part of the Readers and Writers Festival that will occur on Saturday from 10 to 4. So if you're following me and if you're in Chattanooga, Tennessee or anywhere in the surrounding area, then please come by and see me and I'll give you an autographed book. We'll get the book signed for you and you can purchase them there at the library. They're not, not just me. There's several different types of vendors. So I'll be there. And those of you who are at Launch Chattanooga, the Eat, Sip, Walk will take place at three o'clock next Saturday. And our girl, um, Marilyn Goler, who owns Eat, Sip, Walk is gonna make sure that we have an awesome experience. If you have not gotten your ticket yet, I'm gonna put the link on the top of this so you can get your ticket so we can all go eat, sip and walk. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I know it's a great time. I got good things coming up. But yes, you do. Thank you so much. And if you will hang on after I leave yes. this, then I would appreciate it. And I'm no going problem. to take it back from Facebook. So you guys have a great one. We'll see you next time. Bye, y'all. Thanks. Seven.